All right, what's going on guys? I'm here with Larry again. I'm going to do five grappling techniques that everyone should know. Right? So, there's many different grappling martial arts and grappling techniques, but there are some that always, always show up, no matter what the rule sets are, right? And this technique, that technique, there's just such common ground that everyone just should know them, right? Because if you do any sort of grappling art, whether it's Judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, Sambo, uh, there's a lot more examples, right? All of those sort of sit, share similar techniques. These are the five you need to know. First, about double leg takedown, okay? A simple double, uh, the most important thing about a double, clearing the arm, clearing your opponent's head, right? There's many different setups for it. And then having good head position is the key. The head position is going to create the all fouls necessary to take your opponent down. That was standing in front of me right here, right? Her hands are out. I change level, like go in on the leg, use my head to off balance with my opponent, and then I take her down. Okay? Now you in here. So not so low, just like an arm out position, right? If I could be a little bit more square. Yeah. <laughs> If I could clear her arms here and her head, I have access to her legs. Don't want to bend by the waist. I want to change levels by bending my knees here, taking a penetration step, right? If you don't feel comfortable bringing your knees to the ground, you don't have to, right? Hand comes up, go underneath, through, head position, let's circle here. Head position, right? Because right now I can't take the legs out from underneath her. Okay, I need all her weight going to this opposite side. The only way I can do it is by head pressure here. Okay, driving her opponent, my opponent back towards that other side using my head. All right, so that's a double leg takedown. There's many different variations of it, but that is the first technique. These are in no particular order, by the way. Next one, it's going to look very similar to the double, but it's going to be the high crotch. Okay, the high C where you're attacking that lead leg, that single leg. Not to be confused with the single leg, which we're going to go next. That one single leg I'm attacking, head to the outside. Okay? Same idea, inside position. I clear this leg, I go up, now I'm attacking this leg here. Okay? From this position, if I can create that head pressure, I am going to switch to the double, just like what we did earlier. But there's also many other finishing methods here as well. Okay? That is in front of me, inside control. I see, right? I can elevate here, go up, or I could bring my opponent straight down. Now we have three finishes to the high C. I already did a video on that. So we have high C, double, two very important grappling techniques. The third one is gonna be the single leg takedown, okay? When we went for the high C, head was on the inside. Now for the single leg, head is gonna be, uh, sorry, high C, head on the outside, single leg, Head to the inside. Okay, so let's switch stances here. Maybe a strong post, clear, lower my level, collect this leg. Now I'm in a single leg position with the head on the inside. Okay, lots of different ways to finish this takedown. Maybe I block the knee and turn, rotate. I could similarly run the pipe, but now you have three attacks that leg, that leg, both legs. Okay, so now you have three systems. And once you get good at putting these techniques together in a wrestling setting, right, lead leg with the left leg, right, I make it look like I'm going for this leg, and then she steps back with this leg, I can switch, high seat to a double, right? Maybe I am in right side versus right side, inside control, don't back up so much, you're gonna show it. Inside control, okay, I fake this high crotch here, she kicks that leg back, I switch immediately to the outside single, right? So once you're capable of doing this, now you're able to put together an attacking system in your grappling world, right? You could fake single, go high C, go high C, go single, right? And then every now and then she's hanging on your upper body, right? You can snap the person down, shoot it on that double, okay? So you have single, high C, double. Three takedowns in a grappling world. Now. The fourth one is very, very important. It's more of a position than a single type of a takedown or an attack. It's the front headlock position, and it's sort of on the opposite side of this single high C double system, right? If she shoots in on a high C, I feel like I'm gonna 
Well, you just saw it and I shouldn't know how to do this. Open it up, open it up, open it She goes for a double leg takedown. I don't know how to do that. Either. Boom, double leg takedown here, okay? <laughs> I want to put my shoulder into the back of her head, and now I'm sort of in this front headlock position, right? You see this time and time again in judo, very much so wrestling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, is a very, very, very important position, so I put it on this list of top five grappling techniques, right? My favorite thing to do from the front headlock position, right, is immediately to bring my opponent's hands to the floor. Okay, if she has her hands on the floor, then she's sort of in this position. And it's very, very difficult because all the weight is on her arm to be able to get her hips on the knee to create lift, okay, which is gonna be very important, right? I'm gonna do this by front headlock, snapping her down to where my legs are. I don't want to snap her into my legs, but as I snap, I clear my legs so her arms go down to the ground and I drive my shoulders into her upper body, okay? Most likely her back, her upper neck, okay? Now she can shoot me on the legs, I can down block and go for a front headlock, or I can actually force the front headlock by faking a shot, right? If we're in this position facing each other, if I fake a double leg, she's gonna change her level, okay? She's gonna change her level, meet me here. No legs, no legs. I can't shoot it on the leg. I go up, and now I have this hand right by her chin. Snap, hand goes down to the floor, and now I can go back, take her back, or I could go for a front headlock crank, or a guillotine, or whatever you feel like doing, right? Last but not least, upper body throws, upper body throws. Okay, upper body throws entails our upper bodies being locked up together. Most important thing is head position. If I have good head position, where my head is situated squarely over my shoulder, and if I could force my opponent's head to be away from her shoulder, right? For instance, underhook, right? And strong head position against the side of her neck, now I'm in great position to be able to shoot in for a big hip throw. <laughs> right? Putting it all together, double, single, high C, front headlock, upper body throw, right? My favorite thing to do when I was wrestling is use a lot of these techniques, right? If I could fake the shot down low, and if I could get her to change her levels, I might force the front headlock to where I'm trying to snap her hands to the floor or even go for a big hip throw as I control the head. Okay, notice I just said upper body throws controlling the head. Similarly, in a front headlock position, if I could hike this neck all the way up to my armpit, I could go for a massive turn and throw, snap down, go down. Right? Sometimes, my opponent's in front of me, I change levels, she changes levels with me, and I go up, no front headlock there, I shoot in low, climb up the body, upper body throw from here. Right? You ready? <laughs> Top five grappling throws everybody should know. Double, high C, single, front headlock, upper body throw. The mark of a great grappler is being able to put this all together, right? And also having some ground stuff. That's very important too. And it's not the best I'm standing specialist, but thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, helps my channel. Right? Those was empty. COVID. Helps my channel. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.